Hey everybody, it's me again, and I'm back here today to show you some uh, something that I wanted to show you guys. And uh, today I'm not going to do a rebuild episode because uh, there's nothing really to rebuild anymore. I just have to mess around some stuff. So I might stop the rebuild series, but I'll still do a video every Wednesday and show you guys what I'm doing. But I don't know yet, but uh, today I'm just going to show you something that I've, I'm working on. I'm in my uh, Tekkit world here, uh, yeah, Tekkit, and uh, uh, behind my uh, my uh, nuclear reactor here, and I've built some quarries, and this one is already built, as running some tests, and this one is not built, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing. So uh, someone on my last video commented that they wanted to see how I'm gonna do my quarries, and it's gonna be like this one. It's, it might change a little bit, but it's going to pretty much look like this. And on top, there's going to be a wireless uh, pipe that's going to be transporting the, the, all the stuff to wirelessly to the chests. This one, I put a chest here just to, just to put all the crap that comes out of it. And here I have a wireless conductor uh, pipe. And here I'd have just four, uh, three steam engines. Um, powering this quarry and inside the steam engine is coal. So someone wants me to, uh, to show you how you connect um, qu uh, quarries to in Tekkit. Well there's a couple of ways there's even more ways that I'm going to show you but uh, this is the two best ways. First way well you have steam engines or redstone engines or even uh, combustion engines sorry. So you can have four or five or how many uh, you want. can't obviously put one here because this is where the core is going to be built. Uh, or you can put one underneath it. That's, I forgot to put that but anyways. So you need to put them touching the quarry and you need to have a power source, a redstone power source. And you can use uh, bundled cables uh, cables and just regular wires and also red torches and levers, whatever you want. Uh, this way, uh, if you have it set up this way like I did, you can do it wirelessly and you can have it controlled by a computer. And um, here, uh, what you have is just a basic setup. Now, I was trying to do something, uh, I want to show you guys some cool stuff, but it's not 100% working, but I'm going to try to get it work. I've uh, set up some uh, CC sensors. And if you look in the quarry uh, section, you, there's a couple of uh, information you can get out of it. You can get the speed, the head position for X, the head position for Y, the head position for Z, and max energy, and uh, if it's in process, uh, now it's false because it's stopped. So the only thing here that's kind of uh, not right is, well, in my opinion, is the X, Y, Z. Uh, well, the only thing is that's wrong is, uh, the two only two things, actually, sorry, are wrong is, uh, no, actually, sorry, uh, yeah, Y and Z are not right. X is also, anyways, I think in, in reality, when you look at it, X, uh, X is supposed to be, uh, <coughs> in reality, if you look at it, X is supposed to be horizontal, Y is supposed to be vertical, and Z is supposed to be up and down. So they kind of messed it up because if you look at this uh, here, Y is up and down, X is uh, horizontal, yeah, uh, yeah and Y is vertical. So they kind of messed that up. Um, I think, I'm not sure, hold on. Anyways, we'll look, we'll see, I've done some stuff in here that you can see the output of those information. So first thing I'm going to show you is uh, this chord. So you would just have to have a program set up and then the only command you have to give it in the program is rs. Bundled out put 
and then you select the side where you're outputting the redstone out of and for me it's going to be the bat in the back uh, for you it could be something else but for me it's going to be back and then you type the color you want to activate on so this color is going to be white so you do color dot white and then that's the only thing you need to do oh, what did I do wrong oh I forgot one thing I forgot to put set okay so when that's the set up and also you had the right uh, <laughs> frequency selected so once you have the power engaged all the pumps are going you're gonna see the core is gonna start making itself and this might take some time if you have uh, steam engines like I do this might take some time to d to to do it but uh, just give it a couple of minutes it's gonna look something like this but smaller obviously um, so I'm just gonna cut and I'll show you when it's completely done alright so it's completely done and the head is gonna start moving from this corner to this corner and don't worry, this this thing does not hurt you at all. It just goes through you. So once it reaches this block, it's going to pick it up and start mining. And all the stuff is going to go through here and then get shoot shot to your chest. Cool. So that's how you do that. And also if you want to stop it, you just write almost the same code, but at the end you just write zero and then it's gonna slowly slowly sl stop it doesn't stop right away because it still has some energy in it but you have to give it some time it's gonna stop someday well oh. anyways it will stop one day <laughs> uh, just had a lot of power into it so, well, that's going to stop one of these days. Um, it's still going. So, once that stops... Um, oh, there you go. Stop. <laughs> Finally. Um, well, you go to this, uh, this uh, quarry. Now, before I start explaining you how the score works with the computer and uh, the sensors first things first is that you have to set up the uh, electricity or the power now I'm taking the power from the uh, reactor but you can do this with engines or you can do this with um, anything you want that provides any sort of power uh, the first thing you have to do is you have to set up uh, the conductive pipes with the conductive uh, trans uh, transporter pipe but you don't need to have the transport the wireless conductive pipe here um, you can only always set it up the way you want and here uh, the only thing about this is this thing is only in Tekkit and what this thing is this ki this thing is called is the link how is it called <laughs> the energy link so this thing is called the energy link and it only exists in Tekkit right now but there is a way to transfer uh, EU energy to regular build craft energy and I've already shown you guys how to do that in my previous videos I haven't really shown you but there I've like kind of hinted it so um, you have to have a energy link coming out of a the uh, the uh, reactor or MFSU or MFSE whatever you want in my case I have it coming out of the MFSE that's which is back there and it's coming out it's going in and then it's coming out again into a um, into a wooden conductive pipe this is a wooden conductive pipe and it's important that you put a wooden conductive pipe or else it does not work and it doesn't matter which side you put it on just put it on just 
put a wooden conductive pipe. And then you put a wireless conductive pipe at the end and you make sure the frequency is the same. And then the frequency of that one is also the same and the only difference is that this one has can receive to true. So once you have that set up, uh, the next thing you have to do is set up a some sort of redstone signal that's coming into the energy link like I have here. Uh, this signal here provides the the energy link to stop the energy to come out of it. You could put a, uh, a switch on this or a lever or redstone whatever you want um, and then also you can have the uh, bundled cables or cables coming into this and stopping it and to stop it there has to be energy or it has to be redstone energy coming to it so that it stops if it, it's not on then the energy is going to flow out so here as you saw the, the that receiver was on and this transmitter is also on with a lever and I was going to set it up in the back here but I didn't finish my coding because I have ran into some bugs but um, so let's we'll just go into here and then I'm going to show you the the little program I wrote so here it's showing me that the query is on Oh, well, that's actually false, but anyways. Um, Corey's on, Corey speed is zero, and then the Corey head X position is minus two, 2,253, Y position is four, and here is 1,022. Uh, and if you s look here, it's the same information. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. So, that information is the same and it's not going to be like this in my other uh, build but I'm going to fix this somehow so if we turn this on which is now it's on and if you look at it it's going and it's giving so now see the heads moving and the Z position is changing and then soon the X position will change also. There you go. So that's that's pretty much it for this. Uh, this is what I want to show you. The speed should change too, unless it is zero. Hold on. Yeah, it's zero. That's weird. Okay, well I guess you can't get any uh, uh, speed readings out of this, which is weird. Maybe it's because it's going too fast. Anyways, um, so this is getting a lot of energy, to be honest, because it's moving super fast. Um, and the amount of blocks are pretty good. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to probably change, but this that's how you get most of the information. Uh, this is what information you can get out, out of the... Um, and uh, I'm going to show you the code in another video um, because I'm still trying to do some some fixes and some stuff and I don't know why the speed is not working which is kind of sucks oh well so that's pretty much it for this video uh, sorry I can't, couldn't bring you a new rebuild video or another video but uh, I want to show you how I'm going to set up my quarry uh, this is going to be pretty much it I'm going to do something better with the coding here it's going to look better than this um, but right now it's just going to look like this kind of until I figure out a better way to do it so that's pretty much it for this video please everyone like my video or dislike my video subscribe or don't subscribe, comment in the comment section and I'll see you next time.